Hi, it's Sam Botstein from MachineSkills.com. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to use the Machine VSD in Ableton Live. In last week's tutorial, I went over some ways to use the standalone machine application with Ableton, and I'll provide a link in the description for that. Today I want to focus on the method of using freeze and flatten to convert a track that is a instance of machine into a regular audio track with audio clips. Um, using freeze and flatten is really easy and really, really useful. So here I have a instance of machine on every track. Machine will let you load as many instances as you want, or really as many instances as your computer and host can handle. In order to avoid hitting the upper limit of what your computer can handle, it can be really useful to freeze tracks that you aren't currently working on. What happens is Ableton will create a temporary audio clip, which will replace whatever normally happens to the MIDI on that track. Um, all the processing in the VST and everything is now offline, and we're just listening to an audio preview of what's going on. So let's hear this. We have a combination of instances of machine playing back samples and this frozen instance of machine on track 9 here. So it sounds exactly the same as it would as if these were all on one group in machine, um, except in this case we have one frozen. Now what's really cool is you can either unfreeze And then you're, you know, able to edit whatever you wanted. You know, the machine VST is right back where it was. Everything is in its place. Or you can freeze something and then flatten it. What this does is it takes this audio preview that we were listening to before and just uses it to replace whatever MIDI and um, VST stuff that was going on on that track. So. Um, we could actually go ahead and freeze and flatten all of our tracks. So you see pretty quickly Ableton was able to generate these little audio previews and um, you'll notice that my CPU is down to 1%. It's barely working at all even when I hit play. Now I'm able to go back and unfreeze or flatten any of these tracks and this is really useful. So, on this case, I have the main kick that we're hearing most of the time. Now, let's say that I wanted to use Ableton's audio editing features rather than relying on machine and this MIDI setup that we have going on now. All I would have to do is hit flatten, and we have um, exactly what we heard before. Here you can do all sorts of cool stuff in Ableton, especially with rhythmic elements. Here I'm just going to take this clip we took and double it, so it's now going to play back at twice or half the speed. Now um, we of course could have done this in the, um, in the MIDI domain before. So here we have um, that MIDI clip, you know, the track is not frozen, it's just a live instance of machine. We can uh, do that same doubling and having thing here. So what this method does is it gives you a lot of options to work with. You can work in the audio domain in Ableton, you can work in the MIDI domain in Machine, and you can work in the Machine software. Um, you wouldn't necessarily have an instance of Machine on every track, this is just an example case, but this is a really, really cool workflow and it can help you make music super quickly.